Among the 100 biggest cities in the United States, Orlando, Florida ranks 86th on the list. This presentation will chronicle Orlando's growth from the 1600s to the future vision of the city beautiful. During the commercial period, Orlando was called Jernigan. Jernigan was a tiny settlement centered around a fort that the U.S. Army built as a defense from Native Americans during the Seminole Wars. For the majority of the commercial period, Orlando as a city did not exist. While there were some settlers in the area, they did not relatively come in large numbers until 1850, which was after the conclusion of the Third Seminole War. During the Industrial Period, specifically in 1875, Orlando was officially incorporated as a city. During the Industrial Period, Orlando was primarily an agricultural city. Not surprisingly, citrus was a major crop, but so too were cattle and cotton. Furthermore, during Florida's early days, only wealthy and famous people could afford to vacation in the state. Some were so fond of Florida that they decided to stay and farm or start another business. Henry Flagler was one of those people who fell in love with the Sunshine State, and he decided to invest in Florida after a visit in 1883. He began to invest his wealth by building hotels and railroads in Florida. As the railroads grew, it was easier for people to travel to Florida. By 1890, the railways were completed and travel to Florida was made easy for people as far away as New York. When people tell the story of Orlando's stunning transformation from swamp and sinkhole to the 21st century metropolis, they begin inevitably with the man and the mouse. October 1, 1971 was a signal day in the history of Central Florida and the city of Orlando as it was the day Walt Disney World opened. Once Disney World opened, Orange County and its principal city, Orlando, were transformed, more or less instantly, from a regional backwater economy based largely on citrus, cotton, and cattle, into a major national and international tourist destination. Today, nearly 50 million people visit one of the Disney theme parks each year. With total employment near 66,000 employees, Walt Disney World in Orlando is the largest single-site employer in the United States. While Disney World is not in the city limits of Orlando, it has impacted the city in major ways. Orlando is a tourism and service-based economy. Currently, there are efforts underway to diversify the economy. As the city of Orlando grows, its problems grow too. Most people work in low-paid service jobs. These include people who work for Disney World itself and other people who work in the tourist industry, in hotels, restaurants, tourist shops, and other tourist attractions. The average wage in Orlando is less than the average wage for Florida and less than the average wage for the U.S. as a whole. Orlando has spread further and further into the surrounding countryside as developers look for cheaper land. There is little public transportation, so the roads become more and more crowded with traffic. The level of public services is going down. 